Hi students, so in this part I will be teaching you redox as reduction plus oxidation, okay, which I was saying that redox is a term which is, you know, fused of the, these two terms, red and ox, so reduction and oxidation. Here I will be telling you also the different ways how to define these two processes, okay, there are basically three ways how do we say that this is reduction or this is oxidation. So let's start. Next guys, I will be discussing redox as the process of, as I said, reduction plus oxidation. So how is it as a combination of both these process and what are these processes we will learn in detail now. So what exactly is redox reaction? <coughs> these are the chemical reaction which involves simultaneously the oxidation and reduction process. So if I have used reduction and oxidation process simultaneously, then I will say that it is actually my redox reaction because it is formed from the reduction plus oxidation part. And both the con condition is what? That both the process should occur simultaneously. So one species will be oxidized and another species will be reduced is like that. Yeah, again the question is still not very clear that what is my oxidation and what is my reduction. So let's learn in detail what they are. Now <coughs> oxidation in terms of oxygen, let's say what it is. It is gain of oxygen in any species. So remember this term guys, gain of oxygen. Example, magnesium is oxidized to magnesium oxide, okay, MgO. And reduction is what? It is loss of oxygen in a, in a species, loss of oxygen. Like water is reduced to H2 and O2. So here I have loss of oxygen, that's why it is a reduction process. So with respect to oxygen, we have two definitions, either any species will gain oxygen or it will lose oxygen. So it's a gain of, obviously it's gain of loss of oxygen, not O2 minus, okay. Now next, <coughs> we'll learn in terms of hydrogen. 